Hello, you've selected the commentary button on your DVD. Uh, my name's Nick Briggs. I'm not a tomorrow person. I'm a sort of asking questions person. And I have with me Nicholas Young. Who's Hi, Nick. To say hello. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Peter Vaughan Clark. Hi, Nick. And our special guest for uh, this DVD, Anne Curtoys. Hello there. Who'll be appearing as a sort of nearly tomorrow person, but we'll <laughs> deal with that later. So, obviously, the memories are flooding back now, so I'll hand over to the guests here. Yeah, that was the star. That was my star caravan at the back there. <laughs> <laughs> this is Trevor, somebody or other, who Hello. gave up acting immediately afterwards, I think. No. I'm not sure that was in disgust or what. It was Brian Stanion. Yeah, but did he not move on to other things? He's a social worker now. That's right. Yeah. yeah. He's obviously practising in this scene here. <laughs> this is dressed like one, isn't it? <laughs> Except for the car. Slightly fla flash motor for a he social might, worker. <laughs> he might be watching this, you just don't know. Ah, that's warming title theme. Still sounds good after all these years, doesn't it? It is a tradition of these DVDs that you sing along. I mean, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Have you given up? So, yes, yeah, it's, quite, it's quite scary to do well, that I haven't again. heard this piece of music since, well, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where um, Dean Lawrence appears for the first time. No, Tyso. That's right. A new tomorrow person. A new tomorrow person. This was uh, all part of Roger Price's social experiment, socially inclusive experiment, wasn't it? People from all backgrounds. Remember? Yeah. That's very effective. Right? What's that? Out? Is that a dog? A pair of dogs? Yeah, a pair of dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dogs with tails, anyway. All gypsies have them. What's this I hear about young Tizo being ill? Oh, he's not ill. There's nothing wrong with him. He's She's an speak. American gypsy, is she? <laughs> a Romany, isn't it? A Romany gypsy they are. Or something. This is the scene from When Harry Met Sally, isn't it? <laughs> You'll have well, whatever he's having. Roger, yes. Roger Price's version. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Gary Glitter's version, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the level we're at, Anne? With yes, these I do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he was like a um, so he oh, really... got old gypsy medicine and make him better. <laughs> he really did give up acting, did he? Yeah. Dean? Yeah. Not in this yeah. scene, no. Um, <laughs> a bit later on. I thought he was rather good. Who? Who said he wasn't? I didn't say he wasn't. <laughs> no, he didn't say he wasn't either. Who? Professor Corston? No, 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 we're talking Tyso here. Oh, Tyso. No, no, I was it, talking about Professor, Professor Corston. Corston. Professor Corston, that's what I thought he was. I thought was a very good actor. Uh, out of all the people in Tomorrow People, I don't know why he had to give up. <laughs> <laughs> there we yes, are. he was very good, but he, he does appear as a, the doctor, the friend of the Tomorrow People that was a doctor. And was, oh, he's, tur he's turned him over now, look. He's yeah. got some sort of problem. Ooh. Um, I can't remember... Well, oh, hang on, I'm speaking of it. Quiet, yes. please. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Oh, Nick. He started to break out, and then he lapsed back into being normal. Yeah. He did break out into spots, didn't he, later on? Oh, yes, had badly. Yeah, badly. Yeah, we didn't have lunch with him. Didn't we? Yeah. Yes. Then he went on to do that famous pantomime pass in boots, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a big boy now, you know. Yeah. He's a, yes, a bit bigger than me, so I've got to be careful. <laughs> yes, close up of Elizabeth. Mm. You that say that a with good some kind of bitterness. That's a good fr no, that's a good front cover shot. That I think I've seen that on one of the other DVDs, haven't I? Well, what, what, what's she doing? Now? Sorry? What's she doing? Now? Social worker. <laughs> <laughs> There's a theme emerging. Oh, she's an agent. <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you that I'm not a social worker. <laughs> I know you're not. <laughs> I'm actually wearing very. Uh, oh, hello. Saw through his eyes as well. Mm. Mm. Very high fashion uh, collar you're wearing there. It's a bit like Harry Hill, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's very good. It's pretty Harry Hill. <laughs> it's back now. Yeah. <laughs> it's been flooding back. And then what I'm the wearing, I'm wearing a tight happening. tank top. <laughs> I've obviously oh. just been down to the local McDonald's oh, yeah. in <laughs> Thames. Uh, <laughs> Teddington. It was disgusting, that stuff. I remember. It was all warm. What was it? Mm, milkshake, but it was left oh. it on the studio and it was just warm milk. Ah, so vile. The, the hamster is doing experiments on. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? Yes, Professor, I'm all right now. I've had licking off my father before, but yesterday it just seemed to set me off. God, doesn't his voice sound funny? It, it really, really does. Now. Did anyone get what he said there? Not no, at all. No. No. We, we, very checking. we very rarely did, actually. <laughs> it's a bit like Sui Tai. Even yes, when I read the script, I didn't know what the hell she was saying. <laughs> Not sure so she did either. Do, do we know anything about the background of the, the casting of the part of <laughs> I don't think we want to go into that, do we? I think it was another Anna Cher thing, maybe? <laughs> was it, or was it Thames Workshop? It was a Cher Delight, was it? Was it yeah, I think either Anna Cher or Thames Workshop thing. I can't even remember who the casting director was. Um, Gwen... I can't remember her name. Gwen something or other. She was in-house. In, in Gladys Jenks, sorry. Sorry, Gladys. Gladys Jenks. Was remember? It? No. No. Yes. Well, vaguely. Spelt Gladys, I think it was Welsh. Gladys yes. James. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. I mean, there was a casting agent in the... 
Hmm? A casting director or someone at the Thames. No, she was. A, that's what I'm saying. She was in the house at Thames. My word. Like mm. Superman or that bloke that Ben's Fox. Well, I never auditioned. God, he's talking about Yuri Geller. <laughs> I think that he's been going that long. Uh, talking, about, the, talking about Bent Fox. Bent Fox. Yes. Isn't that his stage name? <laughs> what, Bent Fox? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just <laughs> going off on a tangent. Um, Brother to Guy. And tell us something about how you got cast in this. I can't remember. <laughs> well, that was something. Just walking past no, no, no. down Broom no. Road. Well, it? you didn't know anybody then, Anne, or something? No, all I remember is that Trevor Bannister being cast and Stan Woodward was directing whatever episode it was. And I remember he phoned Trevor, because I'm great friends of Trevor and his ex-wife, and Stan phoned up and said, but is she any good? <laughs> So it was nepotism that got you the part, <laughs> is what know. you mean? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, was this directed by Stan Woodward? It must have been. Had he directed before for The Tomorrow People? No, he did Rainbow. That's right. A lot, didn't he? Yes, he did. The late, great Stan Woodward, in fact. Mm. That's right. Yes. That's um, a modern piece of kit, isn't it? Look at that. But this is going back an episode, yes. isn't it? This is, a, this like is a quite incredible, because he's, he's got this film of his first encounter with you, which has got editing and everything in it. Mm. It's just incredible, isn't it? <laughs> Who's got the film? He's projecting this film to show Tyso yeah. about Stephen. Oh, I see. It's even got all the... Yeah, the editing and... <laughs> yes. That's, you see, that's the advantage of these DVD commentaries. We can just tell the viewers what's happening. <laughs> They're looking for us again. I think he's, just, he's after. He's a bit intrigued about this telekinesis lark, old Professor Corsten. And he wants to find me again. I know I've seen it somewhere before, but I just can't remember where. Mm. Mm. That's a very modern idea, soup. too. Look at that, a thermos <laughs> flask. <laughs> very advanced for 1970. <laughs> <laughs> and the cup's moving on its Hold own. Look, the telekinetic, cup, Elizabeth. Telekinetic cup. That'd be dangerous. Well, it was this man in his mid-30s, clean-shaven. I'm not having a word said about my acting. <laughs> no, I didn't think We've anybody did. I don't think anybody did have a word to say about your acting. Um, <laughs> Just refer to the other DVDs for full comments. Please make a fake the dice that turned up the right numbers every time. <laughs> Yeah, how did they do that, Nicholas? Uh, they did about 30 takes, I think. And yes. The law of averages, it has to turn up a double six eventually, doesn't it? <laughs> Plus it they were loaded. They were loaded, loaded dice. Yes. Heavy, heavy weights on the heavy. bottoms of the fives. That's uh, five in a row. Must be me gypsy magic. <laughs> Must be me gypsy magic. Not that bit of it, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll disappear like him. I hope not. At least not before you won with a Nobel Prize or something. This guy he should live for the fame and glory. He should have been in the Great Escape with a voice like that, shouldn't he? Yes. <laughs> I can see that pin on the floor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would you mind if tomorrow some other people came in? They just stand quietly by and watch. Sure, wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Come on. Today. Do you want me to wear leather? Make sure you're on the <laughs> tomorrow. Oh dear. Here we go. Amazing, though. that shirt is just amazing. I mean, I thought Harry Hill was taking the f but he's not. He's no, he's not. He's no. obviously seen the Tomorrow People, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, on a windy day, he used to take off. <laughs> <laughs> the one researching into ESP. Yeah, that's the one. It's not the blue and the green, it's the blue and the blue, isn't it? The background's sort of changed from the wiggly things to quite basic um, back projection, isn't it? Well, I think it stopped rotating. It was meant to rotate. No, it just mucked up the cameras, didn't it? Yes, Don't know. It's got very colourful balls this week, isn't it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes, Vice Chancellor, I suppose. So is it coming back to you, Anne? Yes, Vice Chancellor. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> it will do when you Wait appear. Wait till she, yeah, when she comes on, <laughs> she'll remember. Anne, come back. <laughs> You'll recognise his vision of loveliness fact, coming on the screen. In a minute. And then after I come on, you come on. <laughs> well, you're speaking, speaking to you now, Anne. In that case, bring him along. In yeah. America, the military yes. put a great deal of money. Yeah, because you worked for SI, the SIS or something. You were in military intelligence? Yeah, something like that. Trisha she, Conway. She's mouthing, I don't remember <laughs> a effing thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you went from secret agent to theatrical agent. Hello, Professor Corston. Stephen. My word. This is an unexpected surprise. What a You've jacket. Grown up. Ah, now we yes. moved on to the later design jaunting belt there, you see, because uh -huh. they threw away all the other lot because they didn't expect to do another series. So the nice chunky ones with a centre button were replaced by a cut price checkerboard. Mm. I have my little successes. Yeah, yeah. But they're not much compared with what you can do. <laughs> do you, you don't have any idea why they decided to bring his character back. Do you? Well, I think it was a good actor. When you get one, you know, you use them again, don't you? I think it was the idea that the tomorrow people could Some talk to this, have a kind of like a human <laughs> friend that would I'd, I'd grasp them up. Or, yes, I'd forgotten he'd become a sort of semi regular. Yeah. Why are you talking through a cage? What a very odd shot. More of you? Oh, you gave it away, you donut. How many? 
Uh, yes, well, I'm not supposed to tell you. Sorry, but we don't live on an underground station. <laughs> Even if you torture me, I won't tell you. <laughs> yeah. You can beat me, beat the crap out of me, I won't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> no, I'm not a very good sailor. Oh. Any more Hello, Taylor. <laughs> I can't believe the direction of acting. I keep turning around and going back again. Why don't yes. you stand and talk to him? No, no. Well, I think this was Stan's first effort, wasn't it? I think it was. Mm. Well, I was going to venture an opinion that I thought that the directing of this story is just a does bit it get, tighter. Does it work? It's a little bit tighter. Oh. Yes, I think you liked it tighter, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, I like shooting something through a cage. That was, that was Interesting. a bit Interesting. No, I agree with you, yes. That was very good. Yeah, but he did that very well, you see, because he carried on moving. Oh, it worked very well. Yeah. He didn't stand there frozen and then jump as they oh, yeah. made him disappear. Mind you, the rollback and mixes got better and better. In one episode, we did a three three frame rollback and mix where two of us were moving on either side when the person disappeared in the middle. Very effective. Nobody appreciated it, but it was very effective. <laughs> I'm sure well, people did. with these things when they go right, people don't notice them. Mm. I've still got that tank top on the left now. Have you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll wait till this kid breaks out again. Yes, here it is. And then we'll go to him fast. Oh, fast. <laughs> uh, there's the old extras. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, how funny. Little little very hand. long handshake. <laughs> <laughs> there you oh, are. Oh, there she is. <laughs> and there's Trevor. God, he looks... <clears throat> oh, wasn't she gorgeous? Isn't she still <laughs> gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> Changed a bit. <laughs> Especially your hypothesis that the next stage of... Hey, Paul. Full, full, full. God, look at the width of his lapels I, I now. I know, From I know. one side of his jacket to the other. Vice-Chancellor, ladies, gentlemen, this is Tyzo Boswell, who is going to give us a small demonstration. Now, that's an interesting... Oh, they called him Tyzo Boswell because the producer was Ruth Boswell. Ah, mm. oh, that's right. It's all full of in-jokes, yes. you see. Right, in the cage. Normally, Roger's very fond of putting young boys in cages, wasn't he? Mm. I don't know why. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and you had to do a lot of uh, moody sort of looks in all this, didn't yes, you, to I start did. with? I think it's quite some time before you actually... Do anything. ...have a <laughs> significant line. I think so. She's I think creating so. the character, aren't you? That's what it but is. I, yeah, I think she does it beautifully. They I'm not just saying it because you're sitting next to me. I think mm. we've got our suspicions are aroused yeah. instantly, aren't I think they? This is, I think we've got a bit of a dicey shot coming up. Uh, five and four. Five and four. Makes nine, doesn't it? Yep. Well, wow, look at that. Look at that. Da, 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 da. that was about take 35, wasn't it? Four and two. Yeah. A little tinkly background music. Hey. Very impressed. <laughs> Very, Very impressed. impressed. Not allowed to say anything. Don't say anything. No, it costs more if you say something. <laughs> <laughs> that guy there, the other extra, has been in so many movies of the background eating. Eating... Do you know restaurants and things? <laughs> Eating restaurants. Uh, eating in restaurants. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't look. He could be my father, and that make another storyline. He does look a bit similar, doesn't he? <laughs> that was a good shot. Jumping up out of shot. Totally unexpected. <laughs> Nearly hit well, Tim's anyway. balls with my head. See, you see, it's the directing again. One of us has to go. Yeah, and it's got to be you. You're the only tomorrow person Corston knows about. Ooh. Yes, well, that's not strictly the case. You didn't tell him about us. <laughs> well, no, I didn't exactly tell him, but he knows there's two more of us. <laughs> so, so I did, actually. Why are you going down on that shot? Just try, just try and get, work your way round yeah. me again. I think that was me getting out of the place, oh, just because yes. I'd put my foot in it. You weren't trying to appease clean me, then. Form. Oh, God, this is dreadful. Clean form. I've come to clean your form. Oh, dear. <laughs> a bit of racial, racial stereotype. stereotype. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that she was actually of African origin makes the West Indian accent a little difficult. The telephone's a haven for countless germs, sir. I'll be as quick as I can, but it's best to do a thorough job. Eh? She's gone Welsh. Yeah. <laughs> well, as I was saying, I think she... <laughs> you watch this, she'll, she'll, she'll leave Nigeria the phone dangling in mid-air in a minute. <laughs> there you go. That's the... Now, how do you do that, then? No. He knows, he knows. He's rumbled. Thank you, sir. Sorry to have troubled you. Um, uh, just a minute. <laughs> sir? What did you do to the phone just then? Cleaned it, sir. No, afterwards. You mean when I put it down? Yes, without touching it. <laughs> so I don't dirty it, sir. Uh, no, Miss Anna, come sir, back. Sir, I have a lot of telephones to clean. Can you, can you do that again? It's an interesting oh, Can you do that again? Not so, <laughs> for surreptitiously spying on him, you know, go in there she's wearing and a to tell a jaunting belt. Or is she wearing a jaunting belt? Why, it's quite good. You can't see the wire, can you? No. Or can you? No. See the wire? Uh, oh, I just did then. Did you? Yeah. Where? Well, that's very good. Oh, there it is. <laughs> One of his friends. 
Oh, for a moment, I thought I might have made the ESP discovery of the century. <laughs> Sorry about the little dope, Professor. I'm the little dope. dope. <laughs> So what does she say? I missed that point out of mistake. Shall I? Uh, how does she go back to the other accent, really? How does she explain yes, it floating? I just want to know what you've done with time. How does she explain it? We missed how she explained that it was floating if she wasn't a tomorrow person. He's disappeared. I'm a friend of Stephen, she said. Oh, right. Just... OK. It's a sort of uh, euphemism. <laughs> oh. Back to Ham Common. Yeah. That must be it. I think we were in our prime in those days, weren't we? Quite recognisable as tomorrow people. If all three of us got together, we'd kind of like have a little okay. group of kids looking at us. Oh, bad hair day. Oh, spots. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you look better without every hair in place, actually. And your hair's that's shorter, a, actually. Looks Nicholas, less of a wig. What now or then? It's, well, now, but also shorter than it was in the earlier episodes. <laughs> Well, of course, I always make the point when we had all the strikes and you did one shot at the beginning of the year and the next matching shot nine months later, the sideburns went up and down like a yo yo, didn't they? Well, they did, actually. You couldn't match it. And this is for later on. <laughs> <laughs> Pound. <laughs> I think it was a tenor, actually. Was it? No, it was a pound note. No, it was a brown one. Was it a brown one? Yes. I think it was a tenor. They were huge, weren't they? Yes, they were. Suggestion here that gypsies are corruptible, I think it's outrageous. Do you have a son called Tizo? No, I don't. Oh, the hair's looking nice there, I think you'll agree. This is subtle acting, you know. Head and shoulders commercial, look at that. I didn't say nothing of the sort. Now, you get out of my caravan, both of you. Is that the mother? This is interesting, isn't it? We just... She's gone. No, they're, they're friends of hers. No, that's the old well, dear who was in the um, lab. That's... Is that Professor? No. Uh, no, they're not of any significance Significance, they're just hearing they just rowing. Cut, they just cut to outside and I... Just happened to be strolling past a caravan. I don't really. know why they did it, to sort of maybe establish that... Uh, <laughs> remind us we're in a caravan. Gypsies can make magic happen. <laughs> oh, she's giving me a gypsy's curse. He's just about to undo his trousers. How's this for magic? Oh. Oh, I've changed sex. Oh, no, I've changed places. <laughs> Mm. Or this? Oh, that's a giveaway. Would that oh. be you looking oh, at the monitor no. there? Nick? Yeah, well, like, you, you, dreadful, you can... Nick. Look at you. No, it's not me. It's the, the, the great yellow line around the bloody teeth. It's your eyes. The shop. Look, you're looking up at the monitor. Oh. <laughs> you're a chauvacan. <laughs> One with the old mask. Oh, that's right, the charmers. What was that phrase she used? Chauvacan or something. Oh, what? Chauvacan? I've been called a chauvinist, but never a chauvacan. <laughs> We must find him and teach him the old knowledge. Ties are a chauvacan. Yeah, no. Just a gypsy boy, a chauvacan. It's like you like to see my, you like to see my crystal balls. A chauvacan. Please don't cry, Mrs. Boswell. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're really because bad. It's not convincing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're, you're absolute rubbish. Please don't do that. Ties <laughs> are. I'm sure it's not oh, that bless. bad. You don't understand. I saw Liz the other day <laughs> in a movie on television. Did you see it? No. Oh, it's significant close-up here, look. Oh, oh. mean and moody. Do you notice how we all have to go quiet every when time Nick there's a close-up? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> when it so rarely comes along, you might as well. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Um, father, dear father. She was in the movie of Father, dear father. I wish she really did. Yeah, right. Leading part. Why were you watching that? Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> have you noticed how Tim's lost his voice in this episode? It's all a bit... <laughs> it's horrible. Really nasty. They told her that harm would come to Ty's if she told anybody. Who did they sell him to? A certain oh. mysterious Colonel Masters. Ta -da. Ta -da. Yeah. <laughs> and there he is. Yeah. <laughs> He's a shape changer. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty rat. Oh. oh, dear. Colonel Masters, Miss Conway, please be seated. And does, uh, do you watch this and think... That, you know, do you remember any of it, or is it all...? I remember those clothes. Yeah. And how's your <laughs> <laughs> That's you only got rid of them last week. I remember we all laughed a lot. <laughs> and I remember the rehearsal rooms. Oh, that's right, in... Uh, Hampton Wick. Mm, the no. church. Mm. It's now a nursery school. Mm. No. Wasn't far removed from that then, was it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Very significant looks. <laughs> She's doing her mind reading. <laughs> He's mm. looking very guilty. What, do you, <laughs> yeah, what, are, you do what are you doing here, then? <laughs> That's called a withering look. <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more, tell me yeah, more. Half a dozen colonel masters in the army list. That'll be the army list he's reading, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell him what we know. Why? Well, he might know who this colonel masters is. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, let's all Why go, I John. look it up on the web? I mean, wouldn't that be the best way to do it? Ah, oh, do you see what you're saying there? <laughs> ah. I'm John. 
I'm the leader. I'm number one. I'm a bit smug, <laughs> frankly. The big cheese. <laughs> what, that he's offered me a job? No, we didn't know that. But we do know he's got your tizer. Has he now? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like your ties shaken or stirred? <laughs> mysterious Miss Conway. Mysterious. Yeah, she is very mysterious. You see, this is a nice touch as well, the video monitors. I yes, CCTV, yes. very advanced. Yes. Rick? Oh, thank you, sir. Well, oh, that's, that's your bunker. first significant <laughs> scene, and There are other telepaths. Because <gasps> you're one, aren't you, Anne? <laughs> Do you get a picture of them? It was not clear. They're young. <laughs> yep. That's astute, isn't it? Colonel, they can disappear and reappear again in another place. I wonder why she gave up acting. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like my father, doesn't he? Don't he? he does a bit, doesn't he? <laughs> well done, Trish. Well done, Trish. Well done, Trish. Well done, Trish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, it's nearly 11 o'clock. But he will. He will. And so. He just finished doing the dustbin, man. He's obviously oh, an alcohol. Oh, that was the right. sitcom, wasn't it? Yeah. He's obviously an alcohol. Was he, was it before, before or after Are You Being Served? After. It was after. No, no, just a minute. Sort of during. Was it during? Might have been just during. Said, just said he wants to use my secret you weapon. You see yourselves as homo superior, then? Well, I don't know about superior. With my hand on my... <laughs> Where's me lino? Ooh, where's me lino? <laughs> Getting ready for panto. <laughs> it's not very flattering, that, that jumper I'm wearing. It's a, it's a I got a fat stomach, doesn't it? Yeah, you have got a bit of a gut. Well, I haven't. It's just... The, uh, I'm wearing a low-slung <laughs> jaunting belt. <laughs> I think we should <laughs> argue about this some more. Yeah. I think, in fact, nowadays I'd be wearing a G-string with that. <laughs> However, we have two, maybe three days at the very most. No, 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 I assure you he'll be all right. Colonel Masters needs him. He'll look after him. We are building up to a shattering climax here. Uh, what, my, is it my climax that's shattering? Days, he Thank will you. die. <laughs> oh, my word. There. diddle pom doo doo Bing, bing. <laughs> so, Anne, how are you feeling? <laughs> it's very odd. <laughs> it's very odd. I'm not doing it, I'm not doing that again, no. I've grown up a lot since the last time, Nicholas. <laughs> it's, not, it's not funny anymore. No, it's not. <laughs> hey, our producer, Ruth Boswell. Yep. Stan. Are you so Boswell? I think Stan Woodward did very well. We came from working with puppets, didn't he, really? <laughs> so you were quite a challenge. <laughs> I was quite a challenge, yes, although... Is that got a date on the bottom there under production? 74. It does say 74, 74. doesn't it? I thought it did. Mm. 